After a challenging year for the offshore wind industry, construction of the nation's very first utility scale offshore wind farm is now halfway complete. With more than six of its 12 turbines operating, South Fork Wind has been delivering power to Long Island's grid for about a month now. And this is a milestone that would not have happened without our new London State Pier. That's where those turbines are staged and then pre-assembled. NBC Connecticut Siobhan McGirl has an up-close look at how southeastern Connecticut is helping these wind farms and why this new London port is only expected to get busier. Towed by two tugboats, a barge the size of a football field making its way down the Thames River and out to sea. This is a sight years in the making. Butterflies. It's just excitement. Exciting because Jeff Martin knows exactly what went into making this happen. We're finally at a point where we're starting to see these projects come to fruition. He showed us an up-close look at the massive work. They're some of the largest cranes in the world. Happening at New London State Pier. It's a joint effort by two companies, Orsted and Eversource. This is really the first significant offshore wind mustering port in the country. We're creating history right here every single day at New London State Pier. A critical piece of the puzzle, because in order to build these offshore wind farms, the pieces need to be pre-assembled onshore. What you're looking at on the barge right now are all of the components needed to complete one turbine, one full turbine assembly offshore. One set of component would be one nacelle. That holds the generator and alone is more than 500 metric tons. There are two tower sections that you see behind me right now that will go onto the barge and there are three blades. We walked between those blades. These blades are what captures the wind. They are longer than a jumbo jet. It makes me feel small. Hmm. Walking through this site, everything makes you feel small. Two of these tall pieces make one full tower. When they're combined out of sea, they're even bigger, twice the size of the Gold Star Bridge. You literally are looking up to the sky. Once the barge gets to the wind farm location, the pieces are installed, then it's on to the next turbine. It's highly weather dependent, so Mother Nature does occasionally get in our way. And weather isn't the only thing getting in the way. How do you describe last year for offshore wind industry? I would say the last year there's certainly been some challenges with supply chain, interest rate, inflation issues. Despite those challenges, partners Orsted and Eversource stress they are making progress. With one major project already powering homes on Long Island, two more planned on its heels, and all of it starts here in New London. It's actually, I believe, only one of two ports in the entire United States that can do this work at the moment. You know, if I had a crystal ball, I would say that this port's going to be very busy for, for many, many years. In New London, Siobhan McGraw, NBC Connecticut News. Wow. <laughs> Huge. I can't wait to see it in person go down there. Really, Doesn't really cool. Doesn't it remind you of California, Southern California, the road to Palm Springs? Yes, when you go through road. the cut, and there's a million of them sitting right there. Absolutely. Yeah, there, yeah. Beautiful sight. All right.